Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to my channel. This is going to be a full moon reading for you. So this is going to be a harvest moon. So people are going to be reaping what they've sown for the last year. Most people probably put positive and energy out in the universe. So you probably most likely offset yourself unless you are a person who put tremendous positive or tremendous negative out into the universe. So... Let's see what we can find out for you, Aquarius, for the full moon. So the energy will last until October 6th when the new moon energy comes in. Wisdom, beautiful. So you have learned a lot of wisdom throughout whatever situation is going on. This is your overall energy in this reading, Aquarius. So the first one that comes out for you is happiness, beautiful. So you have got control of your emotions. You have found what makes you feel happy, what makes you feel um, balanced. This could be a new beginning for a lot of you. It could be a new baby for a lot of you, a new home. But tremendous wisdom is a beautiful thing and happiness. So then we have fear 38. So this could be a couple things. This could talk about you being stuck in the past and trying to move to the future, but you keep reverting back to the past. But it seems so you have the wisdom card. I don't feel like that's what's going on here. I almost feel like there's some connection with heaven. Like I feel like you're getting downloads during your dreams and it scares you, so you push it away. I suggest all my viewers to keep a notebook by their bed and write down every time you wake up what time, what is in your head. So if you wake up at 11.47, the next morning or afternoon or evening, I would break that down and say that would be 13 and I would break it down to a 4. I break numbers down. You can self-teach yourself about the energy and meaning of numbers. So I do see some of you are fearful of... Um, your spiritual download you're getting. And the next one is news, which is 23, which would be 5, a change. So I do feel like a lot of you are getting news. So something that seemed dark for you, you're getting news, and this could be through the form of a dream. I'm really feeling like somebody in your past is trying to communicate with you somebody who's passed over but if you're fearful they will not come through so you had the wisdom card which um if you're scared you tell them go away and they'll keep trying to come through to you without scaring you they'll try different ways messages through songs messages through commercials um words stuff like that music all sorts of things, and then it will just progress from there. It will move up. But if you're scared, they won't come through. So, But I do feel like a lot of you are getting news on this full moon. So then we have the Six of Sky. So I do feel like you're going to get news about somebody who caused issues in your life before. Um, something happened concerning their happiness. I'm not sure what that is, and that's just so weird. And then we have... Excuse me, cat magic manifesting. So I do see you trying to pray, plan, put um, positive energy out to what you want the future to bring you. And then fire Tom. So fire Tom is energy of somebody who takes chances and hurts themselves and others as well. So this is around the news you're going to get. You're going to get news around the full moon of somebody who hurts other people. Somebody who constantly is um, starting fires. And I don't mean literally, or I don't think I do, but somebody who just is like, they're not excited unless they're out having an adrenaline rush. So the next one is a warning. So this to me is a warning of when you meet this person or you're around this person, your inside, your anxiety, your angels, ancestors, they give you intuition telling you to go, go, say you were sick, leave, um, say you have to go home, you forgot, you had something on the stove. They're giving you all these ways, denial. You're in denial about something, about how you have the power to manifest or connect with the other side. Six of Fire. So Six of Fire talks to me about a job situation. Somebody who's a boss at work or a lead at work, this person has people who cater to them. This person doesn't really care about the people who cater to them. Um, so they cause a lot of friction at work. So 
they cause friction for other people. So somebody in a boss lead gets his jollies, I'm hearing, or her, by setting up coworkers to be in situations that are not pleasant. And they do it on purpose. So these people who bring stuff to the boss or this lead and kiss their butt, so to speak, or bring them lunch and stuff, trying to get them to be nicer to them at work. And so I guess corporate is in denial of what these people do at this workplace, these boss or this boss. So then we have consequences. No, they're not. So there's some workplace, I feel, who's going to have consequences concerning a worker who chooses to try and call the shots. He's not the boss. He is a employee, but he doesn't act like it or her. So then we have the empress, emperor. So somebody could feel like they are the boss. They could be a narcissist, feel like they're better than the boss. Their pride and ego keeps them on a platform. And then stars, look at that, beautiful. So you have wish fulfillment. So I don't know if somebody you don't get along with at your workplace is getting ready to lose their job because they did something and maybe you didn't have anything to do with it, but you've been putting intentions out that it's hard to work with this person. And I do feel like for some of you that is going to be the consequences for this person putting the energy they out and you manifesting this person is not going to be at this place. So Prince of Pentacles is somebody coming in to offer an apology. So I do feel like they're going to try and say they're sorry to keep their job. The hanged man. So I feel like they've caused this delay themselves. They want somebody to think about it. They're like, oh, can you just give me some time? Can you just think about it? Can I just work till the end of the month? Or something like that. And Nine of Wands. By all rights, the boss or the owner says no. Our guards are up. You already failed at what we needed you to do here. So we can't keep you around because you want to prove to us you're worthy. So I do see something of that situation going on here. The next one is Queen of Wands. So Queen of Wands is somebody very beautiful, very happy. She knows what she wants. She knows her self-worth. So I don't know why she's involved. Balance, justice. So there's some sort of balance. Look at this around this um, Queen of Wands. Let's see what the next one is. And the Emperor. Wow. So it appears there is a female that works at this place of employment as well, who is very well liked, very friendly, very, um, people notice her, people like her energy, they like her character, and it feels like the emperor is going to play her. The emperor is going to try and call his card, or play his card, against a queen of, of wands, right? And, um... He's narcissistic. He could be codependent. He has addictions. But we see this is you, I feel, up here. But I could be wrong. This could be them, too. But balance is going to balance us out. So the next one is Eight of Swords. So this person is going to feel stuck in their head. They're going to feel stuck. Whatever they're doing is going to come back on them. We see it clarifying the consequences card. The next one is Eight of Wands. So a lot of people see this, a lot of people witness this, a lot of people write statements about this, whatever it is. The wheel. So things change. Things change for you, Aquarius. I do feel like this sets things in motion somehow where you move into a new energy. So I do see... Um, sneakiness trying to come towards you like somebody's still trying to come at you and want to be sneaky but you have shut this person down you're not interested you don't want to communicate you don't want to play games there's nothing there's persons getting in something about your money too people looking at your money so let's go with um, dragon wisdom and see what we can get out of there so the next one is death so something is ending. We pretty much secured that. Somebody who isn't meant to be in your life, Aquarius, is definitely leaving your life. And then we have thoughts. So this tells me that you have a lot of pure thoughts here. This is you going through this, how this played out in your mind. You're going over it and saying, wow, isn't it weird how it worked out? Isn't it weird how everything fell into place in favor of you? And why did it work out like that? So I do feel like you're realizing how loved and protected you are by the universe. They made it very aware of this new cycle 
and ending something that was not good for you in your future. Divine order. So you are very protected. You are here for a reason. Everything happens in divine order. A lot of people don't believe in that, but I do feel like it does. It's like a ripple effect. I mentioned a few weeks ago, for those of you, um, there's a movie, The Five People You Meet in Heaven. It stars John Voight, which is weird. I just saw him on the news a couple days ago. He is Angelina Jolie's father in real life. And he starred in this movie in 2003. It does have a trigger warning of the Vietnam era war in it. So for any of you who have a trigger warning of that, don't watch the movie. Don't read the book. But either or, it shows how a ripple effect of a drop in water can make things happen just from being in the proximity of energy at a certain given time or situation. I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much. If you like the way I read, give me a thumbs up. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're interested. Thank you so much. Bless you.